Polly Amory and You by Quirky J. Polly Amory and You, a pamphlet. So you've decided to seriously approach more than one pony to be your special some ponies. Congratulations. Maybe you've already done so, but aren't sure how to feel about it. Maybe you've tried it, and it didn't work for you. Either way, this pamphlet is for you. What polyamory is not. Polyamory is not subversive. Many of the traditional complaints against polyamory is that it is disruptive of the natural psychology and order of pony society. Nothing could be further from the truth. While the past several hundred years have been dominated by monogamous relationships, it was a highly contentious issue in the centuries 300 and 400 A.B. Even now, thousands of herds across Equestria engage in earnest, stable, polyamorous relationships. Polyamory is not friends with benefits. Polyamory is serious business. Less enlightened individuals might consider the occasional get-together with numerous friends polyamory. But the truth is so much more. The emotional and physical commitment to each member in your herd is absolute. Polyamory is not hurtful. As will be explained further below, a polyamorous relationship based on mutual understanding and trust leaves little space for discord to grow. Jealousy is often a symptom of the selection of mates, not the model of polyamory itself. Experience this for yourself. Then perhaps you didn't find the right ponies, or maybe it's just not for you. That's okay. Polyamory is not shameful. While society at large frowns upon outward indications of polyamory, this stems largely from lack of familiarity. It is quite possible that those naysayers are themselves jealous of your freedom to share so deeply with so many other ponies. The ways of the average pony are ever in flux, and perhaps some decades from now, no thought will be given to the size of herds upon the street. Indeed, H.R.H. Luna's re-establishment of the grand assemblage of quintessential specimens, uh, by any other name, the royal harem, may make great strides towards shifting social acceptance. What polyamory is? Polyamory is natural. Pony psychology is structured around a herd mentality. It is indeed the native inclination of most pony minds to want to connect with a number of ponies rather than the single individual as instructed in more now traditional mentality. Polyamory is historical. Records stretching to before the banishment of H.R.H. Luna as Nightmare Moon, and indeed stretching back as far as pre-classical days, the average size of herds was approximately seven. Polyamory is nothing new. Polyamory is rewarding. In a polyamorous relationship, the individual's crises and triumphs are shared amongst all within the herd. Spread amongst several, the burdens and woes of life are easier to bear and pass more quickly. With such earnest companions, more joy is spread to all. Polyamorous love is like a candelabra, spreading the fire from wick to wick, diminishes None. Polyamory is fun. No, really. Counting. There is such a thing as too many. 
The historical average mentioned again was approximately seven, ranging from as few as three or four, with up to fifteen in extravagant cases. One can spread oneself too thin, and this comes back to what polyamory is not, friends with benefits. Each individual within the herd feels a place within a pony's heart. Even for the greatest among us, there is only so much space. Less is more. More challenging, that is. While this may seem counterintuitive, with the widespread acceptance of monogamy, which we shall point out is a herd of two, herds of three or four tend to be the least common to succeed. Explanations for this vary, but we choose this simple reasoning. Sharing is hard. On failure. Had a run with polyamory and left, dejected, hurt a friend by trying to push too far. We're sorry, and that's okay. Perhaps monogamy is better suited to you or to them. Maybe you just didn't find the right pony. Maybe one or more of you wasn't investing properly in the other. Polyamory is not self-balancing magic, and in many ways is more delicate and difficult to succeed than monogamy, but the rewards are often more than worthwhile. Harmony has a way of making even the failures worthwhile. Keep at it if it's important to you. Live bold. Now go find your special sumponies. Bring them to know that you love each and every one of them, truly, wholly, and unreservedly. Maybe they'll feel the same way in return. Best of luck to you. In a hundred years, perhaps, the historians will be wondering why you didn't sooner. Further Resources Loving Every Pony for Eggheads T. Hart The Psychology of Modern Polyamory Carnation Essays on Romance in the Bygone Days M. Pages Your Dream H.R.H. Luna. <laughs>